And as he ponders and waits the second semifinal, before that he spoke with Michelle. Ryan, as you walked up to the microphone, you said, are you sure you want to interview me? Yeah. Well, yeah, no, because you do have a shot here at getting to the finals if you get there. Do you think you have a faster swim in you? Oh, 100%. Um, I always feel like, you know, there's no such thing as perfect races, so there's a lot I got to improve on, especially that race. That just was not a good one. Why do you think it wasn't good tonight? Uh, I just messed up in a lot of places. Uh, but, I mean, hopefully I get another chance to swim it t tomorrow, and I'll be better. Well, you did get to see your two-year-old birthday girl right after. Oh, my birthday girl. I know. I saw her with a credit card earlier. I was like, <laughs> why is she going shopping already? It's your credit card. You, you, you might want to keep an eye on that. Ah, she can use it. <laughs> she knows how to use it. She can have it. We hope to see her. Thank you. Well, will Ryan Lochte's time be good enough to make it to the final tomorrow night? We'll find out after the second semifinal in the men's 200 IM. And Michael Andrew, who has really, I guess, ex exceeded some of the buildup. There was so much buildup early on as a 14-year-old. Then not sure, but he has come into this meet with a great deal of success, winning the 100-meter breaststroke. We'll see how he does in the 200 IM semifinal. Carson Foster will be next to him. In lane five, Foster finished third, just missing out in the 400 IM. Trying to find a way to Team USA in this 200 IM, second semifinal coming up. Take your mark. Rowdy, there's one thing you want us to watch with Michael Andrew all the way through this race. All the way through, you watch the first 150 meters, the best in the world. The first 150. Nobody's even close to first 150 meters. He just has to put it together in the end. If, if there were the 50s in the Olympics, mm -hmm. he would be favored to win a medal in each one of those. That's how good he is in each individual 50. The problem is you put them together and it adds up to 200. As they go to backstroke, does that have to do with his unique training method, training for speed, it is. speed, and more speed? It is. Good point, Mike. That is what he's used to doing all his entire career, training speed. 23.9, by the way. He <laughs> I mean, that's almost a second faster ahead of the world record. 53 flat on the way out. That is ahead of Ryan Lochte's world record. So he has the big lead, but as you said, it's what happens not on this 50, but the next 50 coming up. He only knows one speed. I, I've been talking to a lot of coaches, and I even talked to his dad about this. He knows one speed and one speed only, and that is all out. That's hard to do. You always want to have a building feeling, but it's all out, baby, all the way. It's like an 800 guy just sprinting the first 600 meters to see what he's got at the left. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he is a second ahead of world record pace. He continues to extend. Now can he maintain Michael Andrews trying to put on a show here in Omaha. The world record is 154 flat. It's Ryan Lochte's world record. Can Michael Andrew get there in this semifinal? He'll be just shy of that, but at 155.26, it's the fastest time in the world this year, and Michael Andrew continues to make statements at these trials. He had over 100 age group records in his youth, turned pro at 14. Andrew from Encinitas, California now, on through to the final in style. He had the fastest split on each 50 by far. <laughs> I mean, nobody was even close, and then had the slowest Split on the last 50. He's 30 flat on the last 50. I mean, good gravy. This guy, he's just so much fun to watch. I, I love to watch him. And, and by the way, Mike, he is such a nice young man. Nobody's nicer in the sport. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. I mean, he's, he's so polite in every single way. Fastest time in the world. And the fifth fastest swimmer in history. Now, the times we focus so much on Andrew because he was knocking on the door of a world record there for 180 of the 200 meters. Did Ryan Lochte get in? The answer is yes. He slots into the sixth spot. So Lochte, trying to make that fifth Olympic team, will have a chance to do it. 
tomorrow night. It's kind of cooling down. Mm -mm, wait till tomorrow night. Does he have a faster time left in him? Jason, did you know Geico could save you hundreds?